Garcia is winning these rounds. I think Campbell's looking at that same short right hook. This is a good run. Oh, he's got Scared of nobody, let's bring it. When he came out, he was only 17, um, and he's he just and you know, he took the gym by storm. Everyone was aware of him right when he came in, once he started boxing, especially. But he's always had that effervescent personality. He's a fun kid. He's a lot of fun. I like being around him. When he comes to the gym, it's a little bit of a back and forth. And anybody who wants to try to get involved and get battered verbally is more than welcome. But he's really, he's really funny. Joe is the same person he was seven years ago than now, you know what I mean? So Joe uh, used to take me out to go eat burgers, showed me all his food spots. So pretty much he tries to do that again. But now I have a little bit more of my own input, so we kind of debate back and forth on what's the best. But uh, overall, uh, we have a great relationship. And uh, back then it was great, and now it just matured into a different kind of one, but it's still good. He was driven. You could see it as soon as you got him in the ring or as soon as he started working out. You could see that he just kept on and kept on. We were thinking, wow, he's not getting tired anytime soon. So I knew then, I said, well, you know, if this continues, then, you know, we have something here, you know? And um, so we took him into these certain uh, tournaments and, and shows, and he kept on winning. He is still undefeated King Ryan, Ryan Garcia! Well, you hit the nail right on the head, around the places, you know? Sometimes I would be parked in the parking lot, you know, because we just couldn't afford the, um, the expenses. But um, they had friends that were in the tournament. So they made friends, they got in. All I had to do was pay for the registration and, and we're good to go. As I was growing up, it was the most exciting thing in the world. I mean, uh, I, my, probably my dopamine levels were at a million, to be honest. I mean, every time, you know, I kept on getting more and more uh, viral or attention or likes or followers, you know, obviously it did something to a young brain that makes you excited. Uh, but as I've matured and grown up, you know, now it's just changed into a business and how, how I could uh, take advantage of it and take it to the highest level. If you, if you want to take your career to another level, uh, you have to fight Ryan Garcia. And, and it's, it's, it's pretty unique because the situation that Ryan is in, because he doesn't have a world title yet, um, he's still young, he, uh, he's uh, on the verge of, of breaking through. And yet, he's the uh, the most popular fighter out there. Black Ryan? Yeah. Why? Because he's really fast. Um, yeah, I use my favorite fighter. And... You know, I wanted to train Ryan when he was 17, you know. I, I thought that much of him. And I was not taking on young kids at that particular time. Anybody that age that was just an amateur still. All right, we're moving on from Eddie, who do, who do we go to? And I just thought to myself, well, I did have a great relationship with Joe. You know, at that time, I still remembered it, so it must have been, you know, meaningful. So as I called Joe, it was still the same, you know, great, you know, great conversations. And to be honest, I stayed in contact with Joe a lot of the times, asking him about how he thought about my fight, because Joe has a very great mind when it comes to boxing and everything else. Ryan's attorney and manager had called me and said, Joe, I need to talk to you. And I said, Lupe, I gotta call you back. And he goes, well, you better make sure you do. And that's when he sprung it. He goes, can you make it down to San Diego tomorrow? And I go, well, you know, we made a change in training and Ryan wants you to train him. And so, of course, you know, I jumped on that. I do know this, he's, he's like an incredible athlete. 
And he hits as hard as, he hits harder than maybe anybody pound for pound I've ever worked with. And I've worked with some great fighters. I think I've accelerated my skill level uh, drastically in this camp. Uh, I don't know what happened. I just took, turned the corner. Um, can't really, all I could do is point to God how fast it worked. But uh, I know that I'm sharp enough to take on anybody in this division. And I look forward to fighting Javante Davis next. Uh, and that's who, uh, that's who I've constantly said. And people don't like it because they think I'm overlooking for Tuna, but I've been training like I haven't been. So really the truth is I'm not overlooking him. He was beating up grown men in my gym, okay? He was 17 years old. He was hurting people. He was hurting people when he was 17. He has a great look. I mean, the kid looks like a movie star, like De La Hoya did. De La Hoya had a great look when he was young. And, you know, his face never really got beat up, all the fights he had, you know, because he was he was a clever fighter, too, and he, that left hook of De La Hoya, forget it. You get hit by that, it was over. But when it comes to Ryan, it's it's like, it's like he's, he's it's like he's been around in the game for for a long time, and and people follow him. He's like a, he's like this 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 uh, this legend, you know. That 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 and, and people know, fighters know, they have to fight him in order to get your career to uh, over the top. So he's in a great position. I feel like I definitely have the potential to be the biggest star in boxing overall, not even just lightweight division. My speed, how sharp I am, my timing. Our reflexes and just, you know, a determination of, and, and you know, an expectation of somebody getting knocked out cold and, you know, 99.99% is going to be for <laughs> I mean, I just don't do guarantees, but there's a high chance he walks into something that's, that he won't wake up from and that's just point blank period. Or I just run him over.